Take a shiny object. Breathe on it. It's time for another two minute tech tip. Welcome, my name is Frank Nimfius and I'm from the Oracle Digital Assistant Product Management Team. In this two minutes, I will talk about input validation, which is as important in chatbots as it is for mobile applications and web applications. Here I do have a common use case, which is where I'm asked to provide an email address. Now, if I do this wrong, then it's recognized and the message is repeated. So let's put a correct one in. Now it's asking for re-entering, so let's put a mistake in here and it's recognizing this. So it's validating the two entries that I do and if I perform it right two times then the information gets saved in the VARP. Now that's very simple to do. There is a system entity that we provide of type email and all I needed to do in my dialog flow is to create two variables of type email that then I fill with values in one of these states, ask for email address, confirm email, and then I use a system condition equals to compare the two entries. This is a simple example. A more complex example is where we need to do a pattern-based validation. So here I have an example for a license plate. So if I put in a license plate here, and this is validated against a regular expression entity, and if the valid value is provided, it will be saved in a variable. Again, the way I did this is I created a custom entity. This custom entity uses a regular expression, and the entity itself is of type regular expression. And now, the same as before, I associate a variable with this entity type and then in a system resolve entities or a system text input component, I can now validate the user input using the entity. Was that a good tip? I'm happy about it. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.